honest, the past two weeks, because of stress and everything that's been going on with school, and it sucked, but I apologize for missing so many videos so far. I have missed a lot. So let's move on to the topic this week, which is paranormal, ghost, afterlife stuff. So I think I've had a couple encounters with a ghost. I'm not sure if I'm making this up in my imagination or not, but um, I stayed at this one supposedly haunted house, right? And random things would happen, like the dishwasher would explode and there'd be uh, soap everywhere. And then I, there was a vase on the table all the time and then I'd walk out of the room and come back in and the vase would be on the ground. Just things like that would happen all the time. Or another time would be when I was walking past this very old neighborhood and it was late and it was me, my sister, and a couple of her friends. And I kept seeing shadows that were moving that looked like mine but I wasn't moving that certain way. I could be making this up, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but I do believe in ghosts and sometimes, I don't know, you get that feel of a ghost sometimes, you just you just know something's up. Sometimes it's made up, but sometimes I don't think I'm making it up. And I believe that ghosts can like come and go, so they'll come to someone's house and then they'll leave. I hope you guys don't think I'm making this up. I mean, I've heard some pretty ridiculous ghost stories, like someone would be like, okay, so me and my friend were at someone else's house and I woke up in the middle of the night and he was gone, so then I went to the living room and everybody else was gone and then something really dark just came out of nowhere and slashed me across the face. There's blood everywhere. So then I ran to my house and my parents said there was no blood or gashes on my face. So then, so then I, I, I fell asleep and then I woke up and my room was torn to pieces and there is things behind me and I could. So anyways, that's just an example, maybe a little exaggerated, of how ridiculous some stories can be, you know? Uh, if you're wondering why I'm looking this way, I am shutting drawers with a very large stick. Is it okay if I talk about more than just the topic of the week? I can't talk a conversation one-sided. It's kind of hard for me to talk to a camera for more than a minute or two about something and not have a response, you know, until after I'm done talking. Um, and with topics like politics, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. And I can't talk about something if I have no idea what I'm talking about. So yeah, just, just gonna say that. Okay, now I have to go, so...